He didn't complain about the ironing board blocking the back door and, well, fire exit. Or the sewing machine taking over the kitchen table. But I think the fan club for our tablecloth was just a little over the top. You might call it exile, but I think of it as a first birthday present for the channel. The husbeast would like me to move my sewing downstairs and out of the kitchen. I get a sewing dungeon. Over the past year, I've done the bulk of my work here on the main floor. The light is erratic because of the southern exposure, and it's been known to get a bit warm in summer. Because of the light situation, a lot of my chatty bits, me talking with you directly, was done in my former office upstairs, in the room next to the husband's office, where he works. You know that whole comedy thing about filmmakers waiting for the perfect light and then throwing a fit when something derails the production during the five minutes when the sun reaches the absolute perfect place in the sky? Yeah, that was me facing down a hungry cat and a significant other who just wanted to get his job done for the day. It wasn't fair for any of us. Except maybe the cat who doesn't get a vote and thus takes her revenge in whatever form she can. And that's not even getting into the way my sewing took over the main floor. I'll spare you the details so I can spare myself the embarrassment of being proved a poor housekeeper. It comes down to the fact that I need a sewing room. The solution, therefore, is that we maximize the room that we have in our house by reorganizing a few otherwise rarely used spaces. When we bought the house, the basement was finished by the previous owners with potential renters in mind. We live in a neighborhood with a lot of multifamily homes, and by local standards, this is normal. If we added a side entrance to the house, the basement could easily be converted to a nanny suite or a single room apartment. When we first viewed the house, there was a sizable rec room, a small home office, and in the room with bathroom hookups, a craft room. This is what it would look like as a suite? And this is what I'd like to do with it. This is what we have to deal with. Now you know why I call it my sewing dungeon. It's pretty cluttered right now, and that's because I've moved everything from my old office on the second floor, which is once more a spare bedroom, to the basement. My desk is hanging out in the drafty area with the panel box, and the former bathroom slash craft room is our small home library. The shelving is going up to the husband's office, and my cube shelves will come down here to the less crafty library slash office. All these had to be sorted through before the library shelves, and the books we're keeping, could go up to the husband's office on the second floor. My sewing room adventure has a lot of moving parts. I started moving the contents of my office to the basement in January, but I couldn't move my desk until the guest bed was moved up. There was also the matter of books and other media in the library. The Husbeast and I are both avid readers. Print is dead. As a result, we've picked up a lot of books on our own, and there are also books family members and friends have passed along to us plus a sizable collection of DVDs and CDs to be safely stored away. You thought this was going to be an aesthetic basement makeover, but no. We've had to clean and reorganize at least four spaces over three floors of our home, and we are nowhere near finished. This is a functional makeover. The goal is to have these spaces tidy and ready for use and the basement studio finished so I can get back to work on sewing, knitting, filming, and editing. I intend for my sewing dungeon to evolve over time. Hit the thumbs up down below if you'd like me to make an update video showing off those upgrades when they've happened.
The house came with this reconditioned armoire, and we promptly filled it up with art supplies and anything else that needed a home. My job is to go through the contents and make it a craft supply closet again. There will still be some electronic storage, but the aim is to keep it out of the way. We're a lot farther along than we were. We have doors for this unit, but the screws for the hinges are missing, so until I can raid Dad's garage, I'll settle for a clean and organized space. It took a little work, but the cube shelves made it down to the basement without being disassembled. Getting them to fit the space was fun. I have two old IKEA Expedite units and a newer Kallax. IKEA overhauled their cube shelving line a few years back to save on the amount of wood they were using, so you'll notice the edges have a definite difference in thickness. This is important. See, if we stack the Expedite units on top of each other, we can't stack the Kallax. We're short by about a centimeter of ceiling height. However, if we place the Expedite units next to each other, the two thick edges meet vertically down the middle, and the Kallax sits on top with significant room to spare. And that means I have a cubby for all of my bins and some shelf space left to display my strong, independent Funko ladies. And a couple of guys, because I have a thing for Ghostbusters, Twin Peaks, and left-handed guitarists. Don't judge me. Someday I plan to get a couple of floating shelves for the Funkos, possibly with a clear plastic display case, because I'm just not a fan of dusting fiddly plastic pieces. I'm really quite surprised with how much space I've managed to reclaim in here, particularly around the recliner. I do still plan on live streaming knitting and other crafts, either here or on Twitch, so this will make a cozy place to sit back and drink a little tea while knitting and chatting with friends. So now I've built myself a nice little place to play Warcraft and knit, let's take a look at the sewing dungeon. I can tell you right off the bat, this sewing space is going to evolve over time. We also had an old pantry that we converted into a shelving unit. It, too, is missing doors. It makes a good place for overflow storage, particularly for my filming equipment. Because the Husbeast has all the old library shelves in his office, his old bookshelf came down here. It makes a wonderful place for all my sewing, knitting, and crafting books. I've learned that a custom table was originally built for my sewing machine, and it will eventually find its way here. In the meantime, I'm using an old gate leg table that once served as my mother-in-law's sewing table. I salvaged my old fabric stash from the garage. Yes, the garage. My fabrics, none of which are terribly precious, are now making their way through the laundry. Once everything is sorted, I plan on consolidating as much as I can right here. so happy to have my sewing room, my sewing dungeon all put together, and I'm itching to get to work. I think the first thing I'm going to do is dig out my two Victorian corsets and see if I can refine their fit. 
That way I can have a better idea of my own corseted measurements. Till then!